Hi Stampers, this is Kim with Great Inspirations. Thank you for joining me. Today, we will take just a peek at some of the products that will be offered in the upcoming Stampin' Up! Uh, 2023 through 2024 annual catalog. And the suite of products that we'll just take a peek at today is called Fresh as a Daisy. And it features all of Stampin' Up's new ink colors. There are five of them. As most of you know, ink colors are issued every two years. They're around for two years. So the ink colors that were um, put out last year will still be available this year. The ones that were put out the year before have retired or will retire as of 2 May. And these colors right here will take the place of the ones that are retiring. So we have, this is Boho Blue. It's a kind of a nice medium light blue. Then we have Copper Clay orangish brownish color almost sort of a rusty color moody mauve it's a pinkish purplish this is pebble path which it's <laughs> somewhere in that area of a grayish it has some gray and brown and beige um, but it's a really nice color. It's a nice neutral color. It goes with a lot of uh, different um, colors and patterns. And this is Wild Wheat, which is a nice golden color. But also with um, certain other colors, it brings out a green in it. So there they are. The 2023 through 2025 in colors again the boho blue the copper clay moody mauve pebble path and wild wheat and they're featured in the fresh as a daisy bundle and that bundle includes the cheerful daisies stamp set and the cheerful daisies dies here's the stamp set has some various daisies, you can do some two-step stamping, and then the sentiments, you made my day, oops a daisy, so sorry, wishing you the brightest birthday, and your friendship means everything. And then here are the dies, and there are of course dies that will cut out the images, and here's a die for a sentiment, and this is all one big die but matches this and this and this one so when you cut it out it's all together but there are little notches where you can snip if you want the individual um, flowers next week i will do an in detail video on this bundle but today i just wanted to do a quick overview as you can see here's a stem for the daisy, some greenery and some leaves. And then also to go with this, there are some little adhesive dots, some gems, and these are called adhesive back solid gems. And they come in the copper clay, the boho blue, and this color is called lemon lolly. And it's a color that will be in Stampin' Up's core colors in the um, Suttles family. So there's the other three of the things that are in the suite. And the fourth one is the Designer Series Paper. And it's 12 by 12. Very Some very bright, bold patterns and colors. Here are some daisies and some other little flowers. And then on this side, we just have the pebbled path, more daisies, and there is the copper clay. Here's some of that moody mauve, 
And this is the winter wheat. It might have a little crushed curry in it because this um, package of paper also has crushed curry. More daisies. This is the pretty peacock, if you remember that color. It's returning and it will be in our core colors in the Regals family. Oh, here's the back. More the pretty peacock. More daisies and in the background that is that pebbled path. There's the boho blue. Here is the Moody Mauve, and on the other side, it's a piece of a uh, designer series paper that I really had a good time with. Look at that. You can cut this up and make all kinds of cards with it that put themselves together so quick you won't even believe it. Of course, you could do more fancier things, or you can keep it simple. That's up to you. But I thought I would walk you through how I cut this paper. It's really really simple once you kind of look at it and say okay this will be a good um, area to cut so we'll get all these things out of the way we'll bring in this paper I'll get my paper trimmer and I did have to look at this for just a little bit and I realized that I can cut all along here. So that's what I did. So we'll just open this up, slide my cutting blade up, and just line this up right here. Bring it down a little bit. Actually, it'd probably be better without the cutting pad or the paper pad. We just line it up right here in the cutting trough or tray or whatever you care to call it and cut there we go that's the first cut then I had to look at this again and I'm like this this will cut so we'll slide it in here line it up again just like before and cut there we go and then it's like, oh, okay, I can make a cut all the way down right there. Just line it up. And cut. Now all we need to do is cut these smaller pieces apart. It looks like I missed just a little there, but you know what? It works out okay in the end. So we'll put this right here. And we'll cut right there. And when I go to make a card from this, I'll just trim that off. And then we'll take these two pieces, line them up, and cut. So there's three of our cards. There's five. I think this is my favorite. It's my favorite design. Oops. Seven. And then here's our eight, nine, and ten. And here is that winter wheat color on the pretty peacock, and it really brings out the gold in the um winter wheat or wild wheat I think winter wheat is the color of the hair coloring my sister used to use but wild wheat I need to get accustomed to saying that there's eight I'll slide this right over here there we go nine and ten and actually, this color right here, this pink, is called Bubble Bath. And that will be in the core colors, um, again, in the subtles. So we have that one, and we have this little striped piece. 
this with the foliage and this I used the, this for raindrops in a card I'll show you in a little bit and like I said I think this is my favorite it does look very fall like to me even though those are supposed to be daisies and then we have these two smaller pieces and this sort of looks like a landscape and this and then more daisies so let me show you what I did with these we'll start with this one this card was so simple if you remember in my last video I just used some designer series paper as the focus on the cards and that's very similar to what this is some of them had I needed a few more items like die cuts or you know backgrounds but for the most part it's just using the designer series paper um, to make a card and they go very quickly so all I did on this one was I stamped a greeting which you made my day and I added the little um, metallic dots so that's what I did with this and then the next one, let me find it here. I took this one, and again, all I did was I stamped a greeting, and then from on the ocean, I used the birds, and then I added the uh, metallic dots. So there's that one. And then the next one, is this and it took me a little bit to figure out what to do with this piece of paper well I got out the cottage wreath stamp set which is in the new catalog it is carried over and I ran it through the uh, timber 3d embossing folder gave it a little texture and then I just stamped one of the wreaths with the berries and I used blueberry bushel. Some of you may remember blueberry bushel. It was an in color a few years back and it is coming back to be part of our cool colors and the regals. And I just put a greeting. So I just stamped right on there. I put a little mat of the blueberry bushel and I thought that that ended up being one of my favorite cards even though it took me a long time to figure out what to do with that piece of paper. So the next one is this one which of course is this and that's the boho blue card base and this is some ribbon that will be in all the in colors it's a textured ribbon this is the boho blue i just stamped a greeting well i didn't stamp the greeting it's embossed but um and i cut it with the um, devil rectangle dies and added some of the uh, rhinestones so that was pretty easy to do and then I made use this little piece and I made this card now for this I used some of the dies in the cheerful daisy stamp set and I also used these adhesive dots they are the the dot the adhesive um, back dots for the 2023 to 2025 in colors and of course that is in that pebbled path and this is some of the um, designer series paper that is in the fresh as the daisy bundle that we just looked at so there's that one and then this with the pretty peacock and the wild wheat i made this card I stamped and die cut some of the daisies from the Fresh as a Daisy. Well, it's Fresh as a Daisy bundle, but it's the Cheerful Daisy stamp set. And here's some more of that textured ribbon in the wild wheat. And then I just put some more of those metallic dots on there. I seem to really like those these days. And then this one, like I said, I use for raindrops so I got out playing in the rain that is a stamp set that's in our current mini catalog that will carry over into the annual catalog and I just used it for a background for the bunny and put some die cut some clouds that came with the plane in the rain bundle and the sentiment is from that bundle and I used the raindrop embossing folder just to emboss the very 
front of the card. Now, the next three cards I made in some different sizes because this just screamed square card. So this is a four by four. So I made a card that's four and a quarter by four and a quarter, which that means you cut your um, card base at four and a quarter by eight and a half and score it um, in half at four and a quarter. And all I did was add a greeting and I put some more of the um, rhinestones on it. And it's very, it would be very difficult to see because in person it's very difficult to see. But I used the um, bubble bath stamp and blend um, alcohol marker, the dark one, and I colored over the rhinestones. And it, you, you can see that they're not clear, that they have a bit of color, but it's, it's not um, overwhelmingly pink. So there's that. And then there's this itty bitty piece of paper in the Moody Mall. And I made this card with it. The thanks is from The Biggest Wish, which is carrying over into the new catalog. And here's some more of those adhesive back dots in the new in colors, and that's the Moody Mall. And this, the card base, is the um, pebbled path and this is what I call my a mini slim line it is um, six inches by three and a half so your card base you would cut it at six by seven and score and fold it three and a half so there's that and this is one of the designs in the six by six um, designer series paper that comes in all the color families in both um, in color color families and in the brights, the regals, um, the subtles, and the neutrals. And then the last card I made was with this. And I went back to a stamp set I've not used in a while, and that is the Pansy Patch, and it too is carrying over into the new catalog. And I chose to use the copper clay card base again this is one of those mini slimline cards and again i used the adhesive dots that um, are in the in colors my pansy is a combination of lemon lolly and um, daffodil delight along with that uh, copper clay that I stamped off and then I did it full strength and then the leaves are old olive so there's that now I have to admit something <clears throat> in the bundle I showed you the adhesive dots that I need to find here here they are and for some reason in my mind <laughs> I forgot that these went with this bundle of products. I was thinking it was the in color ones. So that's why I didn't use any of these in these projects. But I will use them in other projects. And I just wanted to show you that I just thought that one piece of designer series paper was just so unique and so great for when you need cards in a hurry. And you can, I mean, you, like I said, you can dress them up, dress them down, you know, use die cuts just put on a sentiment and a few gems and you're good to go so that is just a quick look at some of the things that will be in this upcoming um, new annual catalog that, that goes live on may 2nd so that's coming up pretty quick now as i said next week i'll do a video and go into more detail on the stamp set and the dies and show you just how to use the dies and maybe a few little tricks they're not difficult to use but some of them are a little tricky to line up so I'll show you what I did to do that now there will be in the description of this video a link to my corresponding blog post for these cards in this bundle and it will have supply list and um, measurements and all that kind of stuff for all these cards. So you can go and check that out.
But in the meantime, I want to thank you for joining me. Until next time, stamp happy.